Hey, mister. It is the 4th, May 4th, 2022. It's raining here in Griffin now. I'm almost home to our new home that you haven't seen. I cannot believe, look how dark I am. I cannot believe that you threw away my Bose 901s. Uh, I cannot fathom that at all. Uh, so you need to buy me some new Bose 901s. They were probably eight or nine out of a 10. They were in like awesome condition. No real scratches. The grill was perfect, so on and so forth. So looks like you are going underway pretty soon and you are going to Washington State, the last that I heard. That's the plan anyway. So that's cool. I hope that everything goes smoothly for you. I know that those are exciting times, especially you since you have been on the boat for a long time. So it's going to be great to go to a land station to where you're not um, being underway for months and months at a time. I've got to stop by the gate here real quick, see what they say. Thank you. I don't have my electronic pass in this car yet. It's at the house, so it doesn't pop up. The gate doesn't pop up. But so it's exciting that you're going. Hey, we did we did use that technique the other day where uh, you are putting stuff together loosely. Michelle started to put together the chairs that we we bought for the table and chairs and stuff, and she tightened down the legs, but we needed to put in the inter the in, inside metal piece. So what we had to do is loosen um, a couple screws on the back and then loosen the front legs a lot in order to be able to um, get the the inside brace um, squared away. So what we did was we loosened the front legs a lot. We were able to smash down the inside brace section and that allowed us to, to put it together roughly and then once all the screws were started, just just started, just got some a couple of turns on the threads, and then we were able to uh, screw everything down. So that's a good technique when you're trying to put multiple things together, um, multiple legs or, or what have you. Um, if you could just get all the screws just started, just threaded a little bit. What else? I. I'm pretty sure that I've had the flu the last couple of days. It's been super hot, and of course Atlanta is like hot as hell. Uh, so I've been in, I've been working in the sun, as you can tell by my dark face. Um, but it's been exhausting, and that was the one thing that I was concerned with was how exhausting the physical labor is outside in the direct sun. And you know, now that I'm I'm not 21 anymore. Um, it's it's really fucking tough, but um, so uh, today's better. Yes, yesterday I was really really exhausted, and I rode the motorcycle, and my jacket. I've got a textile jacket which I'm going to return, but I need a mesh jacket to let the air go through because it was 80 some, and I was driving and it was just hot, super hot, and it felt like I was overheating. And I don't want to die from heat exhaustion or die from anything else for that matter. But I really felt bad yesterday. Knock on wood. I'm feeling better today. I'm hoping to be back to 100% here pretty soon. So as you can't tell behind me, um, but this is our neighborhood now. Um, a lot of uh, old people here. Whoa, they got sod. They've got a pallet of sod going someplace. So anyway, I'm here looking at our house. So I love you very much. Very proud of you. And I hope to talk to you soon. I'm looking forward to get my Bose 901s. I love you very much, mister. I love you. Oh, look how, looks like my eyes are bloodshot because I'm so exhausted. I love you. Bye.